Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are doing well. See, children, today we are going to continue the same chapter, Chapter 5, Microsoft PowerPoint 2010, an introduction. In the last class, we learned how to start PowerPoint and what are the components of PowerPoint window. Now, in today's class, we are going to learn two important topics. First is creating a new presentation and second one is adding slide contents. Okay, so let us start from the first topic, creating a new presentation. So just look here on the screen very carefully. First time starting PowerPoint. So just look here. Here is your PowerPoint. Yes. See children, for creating a new presentation, when you start PowerPoint, a new presentation file opens by default with a blank slide in it. And by default, it is named as presentation one. Okay. So if you want to start with a new presentation, you can follow these steps. So what we will do, we will just click on file tab. Then we will click on new option. Then here is the blank presentation. You can just click on it and then click on create. In this way, you can create new presentation. Okay, children. So here you can see, just see on the screen, this is a slide pen, okay? And here you can see the two boxes, the two rectangular boxes, okay? These dotted rectangular boxes are called as placeholders, where you can enter your title and subtitle. I hope till here it is clear. Now our next topic is adding slide contents. Okay, so if you want to add slide contents, you can use these placeholders. Okay, so just look here, click to add title. For example, I'm clicking here. You can see this insertion point. So this point is called as insertion point. Insertion point means where you can insert your title or you can insert your subtitle. Okay, now we will enter here some title. So when I will click inside the placeholder, then a blinking cursor will appear in the placeholder. Okay, so here I'm entering some suitable title. Just see, for example, my school. Okay, so you can see, now the same thing we will do in the next placeholder. For adding the subtitle. So I am clicking here on the second placeholder to add a subtitle. So now I am adding subtitle as Carmel. Okay, convent school. Okay, children. So now you can see that the placeholder will disappear, leaving the entered text on the slide. Okay, so in this way we can add title and subtitle of our presentation. So children, I hope both these topics are clear to you. The next topic we will discuss in the next class. Thank you and God bless you.